Hey guys, it's David from Trail Adventures USA. Today, we're in the garage and we have a little project for you. Now, you've all heard of the solo stove and many of us can't just sacrifice that much space in our rigs for that type or that size of a fire pit. So today, we're gonna make a miniature solo stove. Now, these are called Ban Marie pans. They're used in the restaurant industry for um, soup bowls and soup pots. And these are stainless steel and they're of a high quality. Now you can find these on Amazon. We're gonna to try to leave the link in the bio. Right now, I do wanna tell you though, thanks to everyone for sending us their stickers and patches. And if you wanna do a patch trade or a sticker trade with us, just reach out to us on Instagram at trailadventures underscore. And also, if you're interested in one of our Legend Series shirts, they're still available. Link will be in the description. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna use these two pans. And as you can see, one is smaller than the other. This is an 11 quart and this is a 12 quart. And this one here fits simply inside this one. So they nest together very well. We're gonna create the lower holes to have our fresh air intake. And then we're also going to create the holes here so that we can get what's called a gas fire effect. A gas fire is just where the smoke is reburned because of the high temperatures and creates almost a smokeless fire. So let's get started. Guys, so you're gonna need a few simple tools. You're gonna to need a drill and a few drill bits. This is a seven, seven eighths drill bit. We're using also an 11 30 seconds. If you have something similar in size, it's just fine. And then we're gonna use a larger drill bit to just smooth out the edges once we drill. Now moving over here, this is the 11 quart pan. This is the one that's gonna go inside the 12 quart. As you can see here, we used a piece of tape and we marked off every inch. And this is where we're gonna drill our holes right along that tape edge. Underneath, you can see where we also created a pattern. We're gonna drill a hole in the center, and we're also that's gonna be the uh, 11 30 seconds drill bit, and then we're gonna drill on this line, on this line, on this line, and do that all the way around. And that'll create intake air for the burning of the uh, wood or fuel material. Now on the larger can, this is the one that sits on the outside, it only gets holes drilled at the bottom. We've spaced them two to two and a half inches apart, and that's where we're gonna use the seven eighths drill bit as we move around. And that should um, take care of the intake air. So I'm not gonna bore you with all the drilling, but we will use a little bit of time lapse to help you follow along. Okay guys, so once you have all your holes drilled with the 7 8 drill bit, go ahead and remove your tape. And then these here, these holes here will still be a little sharp because it is stainless steel, but if you have a step bit, you can just use that to clean up those edges or even a round file would do the same, okay? We're gonna move on to the 11 quart. And this one here is gonna require quite a bit more drilling. So once again, we won't bore you with the details, but we'll just get to work. minutes of your time and about $24 in materials. I failed to mention these are about $11 on Amazon Prime free delivery to your home, but watch out. Sometimes they do charge for delivery of some of these items and that can raise the price considerably. Now listen, this is not an original idea of my own. I have to give credit where credit is due and there's a great YouTuber that's halfway across the globe who actually made this that gave me the idea and I had to share it with my subscribers because I know you guys will want to take one of these on your next adventure. Now we finished with all the holes along the top and all the holes along the bottom. We have our 12 quart, um, the exterior uh, pan here, the Ben Marie pan. The 11 quart is gonna fit right inside. Now this will burn wood, twigs, pellets. So whatever type of fuel source you wanna take with you on the trail, this will work. And the nice thing about it, it's small, compact, and light enough to put in your rig. Now listen, this also will not leave a burn scar behind once you're done with your campsite. And we can all appreciate that. We hope that you're having a great day. And listen, please like, subscribe, and share. And we'll see you on the next trail adventure.